I work for um, BBC's language services, mainly for Afghan section. Uh, we have half an hour TV bulletin show that goes on air every day, seven days a week. In Afghanistan, we have two main and national languages, which is Pashto and Dari. Um, our TV show is in Pashto. So our target audience is those people who can speak and uh, understand Pashto language be it them in Afghanistan or anywhere else. But mainly uh, we have around um, 25 million uh, Pashtuns living in Afghanistan, around um, 20 million in Pakistan. So they are our target audience. We target them. Uh, we reach them. We have partner TV stations in Pakistan and partner TV stations in uh, Afghanistan who um, uh, our, our program and TV show goes on air via our partner stations and they reach to the, uh, every single province of Afghanistan. But also, um, uh, we uh, cover stories that uh, impact and have an effect on Afghan diaspora living in UK, for example, or in Europe. Uh, recently, we, uh, we had the British election uh, in 2015, uh, and we did cover British election, and. Uh, uh, we covered all the big issues in it and how it is affecting Afghans living in here and what is their contribution. World Service is a, is a model that BBC have um, that other major media organizations around the world doesn't. Uh, it gives BBC access to different countries across the world. Um, uh, the first World Service language service was founded in 1941, which was the Arabic service and lots of other language services followed Arabic in the coming years. Uh, so right now BBC have 33 world uh, language services which have uh, people working here for each section and they have payrolls in other countries as well. So World Service is actually a, a symbol, as a model for BBC that they are proud of. BBC is a brand, um, uh, it's, uh, BBC is a name of trust. So in Afghanistan, um, people trust BBC more than they can uh, do it uh, on any other uh, local TV channels. For example, there are so many lo local TV channels that are commercially driven, that are politically driven, and they are kind of uh, unfair, impartial, biased. So um, people doesn't trust what they say, what they report, and BBC is a, a public funded organization it works for people uh, and it reports everything uh, that impact wider public so uh, i think the trust and impartiality of bbc is the main thing that people come to us rather than going to any other local tv channels i mean for every, any person who loves to uh, be a journalist or to be a reporter bbc probably is one of the few organizations that you would love to end up working with or for so yes, uh, I was part of BBC in Afghanistan for a couple of years and then when I moved to UK, uh, I was uh, given a job here as well. So uh, I love my work, I love what I do for BBC. Um, I have the freedom of um, giving or pitching my ideas and seeing it um, uh, taken a practical shape. For example, over the past few years I have uh, given and pitched ideas and then uh, it has been successful and I have uh, worked on them myself so uh, this is the kind of freedom that bbc gives me so it's uh, our agenda is not uh, a set agenda that comes from some, somewhere else we do it ourselves